Well, fans of The Sopranos now have a piece, uh, the chance to own a piece of history. For years, the show was must-see on TV. From the opening that toured the turnpike all the way to the series conclusion inside a small ice cream shop in Bloomfield, where it all went to black. Well, now Holston's is giving you a chance to own a piece of what is still one of Hollywood's most controversial conclusions. Here's New Jersey reporter Tony Yates. Millions of us watched that final episode waiting to see who would take Tony out or not as he sat in that booth. Yes, that booth. Beanie's kind of covering. Where fans come often to sit where Tony sat and take a picture. My son and I just finished watching the show. I had seen it when it was live and he uh, j just finished it and we said we had to come. I thought it was perfect. I thought it was a perfect ending to a perfect show. But time has put its wear on the booths at Holston's, the ice cream parlor for generations of families. The booth has taken a beating along with the rest of the dining room um, ever since this the Sopranos happened, we've been extremely busy and just a constant wear and tear of, you know, people in and out, in and out. Didn't want to do it. You know, it's nostalgia to me too. So Chris decided to put the booth up for sale on eBay. We had no idea where it would go to or what, what would happen. Last check, it was $32,000 with Sunday being the last day to bid and the last chance for fans to come sit on the actual seat where Tony sat. Was that your first time sitting there? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Did you come just for that? Yeah, we heard that it was going, going away, so we wanted to see it for one last time. Holston's is so loved as it is, the owners plan to replicate the decor. The restaurant opened back in 1939 as Struby's. Florence Struby's daughters yeah. still stop by. And, uh, she passed about a year and a half ago, and you know, in the later years, it was just very helpful coming back to the old hometown, the old store, and um, it was really just a joy. But the late, great James Gandolfini as Tony Soprano made this booth unforgettable and someone is offering big bucks to have it all their own. James Gandolfini was one of the nicest people that I've ever met. You know, he was just a very down-to-earth person. In Bloomfield, Tony Yates, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.